Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to again look at selectors, but this time we're going to look at the element selectors. Now, obviously, an element in an HTML document would look something like this. This is a paragraph element. We could also have something like a div. We could also have something like a span, um, as well as things like images. Uh, like that and things like um, a tags as well so there's a, a variety of different elements inside HTML uh, documents and we can use jQuery to select specific elements of our page so for example if we had a paragraph here and we had a paragraph here but then down here we had a span We're going to go ahead and create some functionality in our selectors.js file, which we've uh, included on our page, to add some text to this, this paragraph here and this paragraph here, but not this span here. And then we're going to change these around a bit to see the effect uh, that we get from that. So we've got a paragraph here and a paragraph here. We can simply reference we want to do something to uh, a paragraph in particular. And this will work and carry out the same operation for every paragraph on the page. So inside selectors.js we want to say p we've now actually selected the paragraph element now this would then apply to this paragraph here and it would also apply to this paragraph here however we have a span here so it would not apply to that. So inside selectors we can say uh, dot text and inside here we can place some text so for example hello now when we go over to our browser you'll notice that we have two um, hellos just here now if I was to go ahead and uh, change uh, this here to a paragraph as well this is now in the range that we've specified or the uh, selected set that we've specified and therefore when we refresh the page um, the text will also be inserted into that last paragraph as well. Now what we can also do is when we set, when we have elements and I'm just going to give the example of paragraph elements in here uh, I'm sure with this example you can work out things like spans and divs um, as well as uh, other elements however what we can actually do is because we have three paragraphs we can choose the first the last or any any other particular paragraph. So inside selectors.js instead of just having p we can then use a uh, colon to specify which paragraph we want to uh, apply this text to so I'm going to type in first now obviously the first paragraph on the page is this one here and therefore the only text uh, that should be applied or the only paragraph that should have this text in is the first paragraph let's go ahead and refresh the page now you can see that despite us having three paragraphs on the page and selecting the P we've selected the first as well and therefore it's only applied this to the first paragraph now similarly we can also use last so if I type last in there and refresh um, obviously we can't see any difference at the moment let's just go ahead and um, put some text in here so you can see that that hello has applied to the last element that we've specified so obviously you can also uh, do this with other elements for example if these were div elements you could then use div and then last or div and then first um, it's entirely um, uh, obviously for the purpose you're using it it would be entirely up to you uh, but for now we're using paragraphs and we've su successfully um, referenced all the paragraphs and then we've chosen the first and then the last now you might also want to say p first um, and go ahead and change this back to just p uh, you could then go ahead and select id equals uh, let's just say para let's just put some text in there as well uh, when we refresh you can see that they've all changed however this is because we've specified a p despite the fact that we've put an ID on there in the last video we looked at referencing by an ID it's still a paragraph so you need to be careful when you're using this on your page because if you wanted to for example just change this text in here you've given it an ID 
here you've referenced all paragraphs. Now you could solve this by, for example, copying and pasting this line down and just referencing that paragraph on its own. Um, when you refresh, uh, let's just go ahead and change this to something different. Hello too. And when we refresh, we get that change. Uh, however, this is an inefficient way to do things. So at best, you need to think about how you can actually name things uh, and where you need to reference things and which elements need to be referenced. So hopefully that will make sense. We've got three paragraphs here. Uh, go ahead and try it with divs, spans, images, anything, and try and combine your other jQuery knowledge with referencing uh, to see what you can do.